Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Uh, I'm here going over the uh, harness wire for the Caprice, um, the 89. And uh, I just wanted to put some how-tos, some DIYs out there, um, just in case some people needed some help with things, um, couldn't understand things. I know some things in this form um, I've done, I've went over and looked at, uh, and stuff like that. Go to wire harness. This is the LT1. Let me focus it. This is the LT1 swap.com page. Um, this is a good vital uh, page to uh, get information for the, um, the, um, the C2 plug, it's good information for that. It's good information for the PCM. Um, so for the deleting the wires and stuff, and what you need and what you don't need, it's good for that. Um, so pretty much, uh, you will you you will go here for information that you need. So uh, uh, please go here. And try not to follow a bunch of forms and stuff. Um, this form is, is is accurate on its information, so kind of try to stick with one form, not a lot of forms. Um, but I wanted to go over some deep pinning um, for you guys. I want I wanted you guys to see that process. And not a lot of people have talked about this fuse box for the standalone, the factory standalone. So I wanted to just go over this box for people. Um, this plug right here was is for the electronic transmission. So if you need it or if you're going with that, keep that plug. It's green, but I'm not going with that. So that's why it's missing. And obviously the C2 plug goes here. So... Um, that's pretty much it, all, all I need um, as far as that. But let's get this plug up out of here. And it, these plugs all go to, um, uh, they got their own plug. They, they don't, you know, you can't get them mixed up or confused and plug them up to the, to the wrong one. It, it's its its own one. Get that out of there. It sometimes want to get get stuck in there. Here she go. Okay, so to get these out. To deep pin these plugs um, what you want to do is obviously a lot of these wires you're not going to need I, literally a lot of these wires are going to other things transmission like it, there's so many wires that you're not going to need um, if you're doing the factory uh, standalone harness you're not going to need a lot of those wires that are connected so you can go ahead and delete a lot of those wires, but just know what you're deleting. Um, so that's how you take that out. You can lose that, do whatever you want. Don't lose it, but throw it across the room, do whatever. It's, it's simple one way. Um, everything about this harness is simple one way. So basically, you see, I'm gonna wiggle one and try. Well, I'm gonna focus over here in this corner, okay? So you see the corner one, right? Okay, let's get a little focus going here on here. Okay. So, what I do is push above the tab. Hang on, let me get my... What I do is push above the tab and that it's able for me to bring out my plug wire okay so you see the plug wire is out of there it's fully out 
okay? And then it simply goes back in. Like you could you could you could take out something that you you needed and then go back and then put it back in. Like it's that simple. Um, and then to put back in your I might have it the wrong way. So this is be oh it's the right way. Okay, so you see how it goes right in. And then this side would be the side that you're pushing out for that. And then this is the side that you're pushing in. Okay, and then again, like if it was that way, it don't go, it don't go, it don't go. So there you go. All right, and just screw that down um the pcm if you cut the wires um if you cut the wires to the pcm uh the wires actually come out the tabs a, lo a lot easier um i found that so um pretty much on that you do how you want to do that but the depending is pretty much easy um these tabs are pretty much easy you go in this corner right there and push in and then you do the other side push in pops right out then you're able to these tabs there you would be lifting up and then push in the wire so simple i have to go over this box i have to do some deleting on this it's pretty much i'm keeping the box but i'm just deleting wires that i don't need there's there's a bit of wires that I don't need on this box too also. So you're going to be deleting wires off this box. Um, uh, there's not too many in that. Plus I already have some already cut. So uh, I just basically have zip tied up my... Bear with me. Zip tied up. I have... My injector wires are right here zip tied up and then I'm have them numbered and stuff like that so injectors one and three injectors five and seven um, it's my starter feed uh, I have some more important ones uh, fuse to the PCM Engine control module, ground. It's got some tape sticking I gotta go back on. Starter relay feed. Uh, just a bunch of wires I have already set to the side. So you should do same. Um, I got my coils in here too. So. It's best to just go ahead and do what you got to do on that. Get those um, taken care of. And then uh, and then uh, you're good from there. So pretty much you don't want to be cutting wires that you do need. And then if you do need them, you better go ahead and install, reinstall those wires. But as you can see, this is a spaghetti mess. That over there is the, um, uh, the battery stuff. Uh, I just left it hooked up so it's easier for me to put on my motor. Um, I'm going to be removing these wires off the fuse box. Uh, and then right there is going to be the battery uh, to power this, the, the fuse box. So pretty much after I plug up that, I'm pretty much plug and play. Uh, the body control module from the PCM has been removed. Um, and everything like that so uh, and the security so it should be turn and go after I've been done my deleting and stuff like that uh, got the motor out in the backyard I'll have a video on that for you guys um, um, everything I've done to that uh, other than that guys you will be pretty much um, again going back to this form um, for your harness and figuring out wires that you don't need and figuring out what you do need. 
Um, again, uh, this is this page, the LT1Swap.com. Go on there, um, figure out what wires you're going to be going and keeping, and uh, you're pretty much good. You're pretty much good from there. Um, that's all you need for your LM7 swap or LS swap or whatever that you're doing. Is you don't want to go out and go get the standalone harness. Uh, the factory, uh, the, the aftermarket one, and you want to keep it factory, this is the way that you have to do it. Um, so, and then it just, this looks a lot cleaner, so I don't have all that wire and stuff all around and, you know, a fire hazard and stuff. I don't need a fire. So, um, this is a lot cleaner, nicer, um, and this is the way to do it. So, I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to make another video later on. Um, and hopefully get that uploaded soon to you guys. Um, and that one's going to be, you know, just going over the Caprice and stuff like that. Um, I know I've been away for a minute. So, um, this is some good food for you guys. Some good knowledge. And, uh, I'll see you guys soon.